This is the Ministry of Information, J.R. Val Ray, and this is the Ministry of Information Podcast. You can subscribe at the Ministry of 411 Podcast on IG or the Ministry of Information Podcast on Patreon and YouTube. This is a podcast that's dedicated to culture. How did you get into medicine? Did that go along with you getting into the human rights movement? Part of it because I wanted to serve the needs of the people and I thought medicine would be a good way of doing it also. To um, finances and crypto. Now the centralization is removing the middleman. It's removing big data companies. You want, I want to send someone to you, you want to send some money to me, we're going to take out the middleman here, we just need some way to agree that you have what you have, and I have what I have. And how does that happen? So there's something called the history, fitness, diet, and so many other things. Trail, get all the candy you want to give your shit out, bro. <laughs> Three more summers of young. And then the third I'm I'm all right now. Make sure you tap in or get left out. Subscribe. We're doing it with um the hotel, you know, me and twelves are I design a new studio, we design new cabanas. And I think that you talking about your hotel in Panama. Yeah, because yeah. I was gonna get into that next. He yeah, got, I didn't. I wasn't man, trying to segue you or nothing. Hey, that. the man got a hotel <laughs> in Panama. That what city is it in? It's in uh, La Gartero, but it's right next to Santa Catalina. And you designed this stuff in the hotel. So I bought it functional, and mm-hmm. then we're we're now so it's called Hibiscus Garden, and and now uh, we're gonna transition to have a venue. A full scale recording studio, Neve board, SSL board, all that, uh, called Tropical Sounds. And actually, we're having our first big event in the fall, in November, uh, uh, the first Tropical Sounds Festival. And you know, I'm trying to get everybody to come down. And it's, it's on the beach, you know, I've got horses, and, you know, the pool will be done in a couple of weeks. So, all I'm, this is at your hotel, not around the hotel. No, this, this is in the is hotel. Your, at the yeah, hotel, I got the beach the and the horses. horses. I got, I got three chef. of my own, but 10 access. I got an awesome chef. But we're building the studio on the grounds and then I'm building an outdoor venue on the grounds. But you was also telling me you was trying to make it affordable. Oh yeah, it's still gonna be 30, you know. The rooms start around 30, it might go to a buck, but it's for Panamanian, you know, they don't, they're not getting, I, the majority of my clients, of my guests are mm-hmm. from Panama. Mm-hmm. And I'm not trying to come to another country, you know what I'm saying though, as, as, a, as a, a man from, a, an American, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying though, and then make something that's not accessible to people there, right. you know, like we, we've all seen that happen in our community right now in, in the town, right? Gentrification, and, and it don't feel good, right? right? Yeah, so I'm not gonna try to be, because I have American paper, you know. Keep them out go, of Go out there, yeah, so I'm always gonna make it affordable. Um, you know, the studio is gonna have regular studio rates, but we also, uh, 12s is building a training program where he's gonna be training engineers down there so they can do their thing. I'm always have local talent come be able to record. I wanna start hosting. About DJ 12s. Yeah, From 12, here. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. 12, yeah, so we partnered up on the Tropical Sounds thing. We about to start, we gonna break ground in March, which is in a week. And then uh, by November, we gonna have a, a big festival. I don't know if I can tell the lineup yet, so I don't wanna get myself in trouble. But it's gonna be big though. Because I mean, yanking. people yeah. know that High Road Day, y'all didn't had everybody from yeah. Juvenile to Pete Rock to The Cool to Yuck Mouth to, to uh, <laughs> Griselda. Yeah, And yeah. so I'm just saying it's gonna be that type of mix up. This, no, you know what? I think for the first one, we are gonna concentrate on reggae, reggae tone, island music. You see what I'm saying? Because we That's have to be area. conscious of that area, right? right? But as we move, I think, Hopefully we'll probably be able to get five or six, you know, I, I, the venue holds about 5,000, right? So I, I'm trying to get, but but I don't have accommodations for that as far as sleeping. So my neighbor's got an airstrip. We try to maybe make his airstrip into parking slash airstrip, you know, like, and just really make it so that when you come down there, you can go into town, kick it, scuba dive, you know, swim with the orcas, swim with the, with, with the whale sharks and all that kind of stuff, and then come to where we at and listen to some slap. And so I there's some like, this like the hip hop rumble in the jungle. It, yeah, this one is gonna be Tropical Sounds Festival, yeah. And then I think as people get used to it, and especially cause you can come record, right? So right. if we have this high level studio, you know, 12s work with everybody. Right. You know, not just, not just rappers, but like reggae dudes, uh, EDM, all that. 
So as people come record, then it's like, well, hey, we got this venue. Why don't you test out some of the stuff there? See how, and, and then, you know, also people come record, they want to be comfortable. I don't want fools to come stay a month, two months. So bring your whole family. You know, I have my chef bring you, you know, a spread two, three times a day. You know, come record, get away from everything. And I'm in a city. When I say Santa Catalina, it's 450 people in the city. I'm saying if Michael Jordan was walking down the street or who would, you know, Beyonce or Jay-Z, they might be like, oh, you look like Jay-Z. But they're not going to be like, oh, yeah. Right. You know, they're going to be like, oh, what you want? You want to you rent a boat? You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, so, right, right. so I want to have it so that people can have their privacy. They can live like regular people. So it's really rural. Oh, it's way, yeah. I'm way out. I got, I got a crocodile. I got two crocodiles. You, you could touch them? I wouldn't. I, I feed them. I feed them every now and then. You know, like you I throw feed them. Throw them yeah, I throw them a little. I throw them a little lobster, a little, little, little chicken. Right, yeah, right, Matilda. Right. Matilda. I don't. We ain't named her man yet. He, he, the little. You He's know, still hyphy. Yeah, yeah but see. Matilda come fuck with us every now and then. She, uh, she lay her babies in my. There's a river around it, so she lays the babies in the river, and we just throw her a little. You know, we so have a got, restaurant, so, so we throw her all the scraps. So you got a crocodile that be having babies at the hotel. That. <laughs> This I know it sounds this wild. This ain't this, this ain't no normal Oakland type shit. <laughs> <laughs>